G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and I'm here today to talk to you about metadata in Photoshop Elements. If you have any version of Photoshop Elements from 9 onwards on the Mac or 6 onwards on the PC, you have access to the Photoshop Elements Organizer. You can use the Photoshop Elements Organizer to manage your photos, back them up and add tags, keywords and star ratings to your photos. Here I have some photos that I've recently imported. As you can see here in the image tags panel, some of these have been tagged with the people that Photoshop Elements automatically recognized for me. Although Photoshop Elements has recognized these people, the people tags aren't written into the file until I select the files and click File, Save Metadata to Files. Now, if I go into the information panel and click Location, I can see my photo here and then in Windows, click on Properties to check that my metadata has been written. There we go, Lucy Shannon. It's all written there. Photoshop Elements Organizer doesn't automatically write your metadata to your files. There's a number of technical reasons why they don't, but hopefully in future versions, we'll get a bit more control over this. I'm going to now show you the second way you can write metadata to your files. Here we have a cute series of photos of my three children reading a book together with daddy asleep on the floor. Well, he's not really asleep, he's just resting. I'd like to tag all of them together. So I'm going to click on the first photo in the series and shift click on the last photo. I'm going to click edit. I PTC information so I can add a caption to them all. In Photoshop Elements, what is known as the caption in the basic view is the IPTC description. IPTC is the organization that has standardized metadata, but of course it's not perfectly standardized, so some things are called slightly different names. So I'm going to add my caption here and then I'll click save. And that has written my metadata to file. Now when I click on one image, click location, go ahead and click properties, I can see that that information that I've written in the IPTC um, fields has already been saved. So to recap, to write your metadata to your files, you need to select the files you've edited and click File, Save Metadata to Files. Now, of course, you can do that as you're working, but if you tend to tag in batches, you can go ahead and save all the metadata to files at the end of your night. If you have a large library like mine of 43,000 images, it might take a half hour or an hour to write all the metadata. So every now and then I select all the files in my library and write all the metadata to files. It's easy and it makes sure that all my metadata is safely within the files and not just within Photoshop Elements database. In the many years I've been using Photoshop Elements Organizer, I found it pretty reliable, but I'm very careful to make sure that I keep my computer in tip-top running condition. I wouldn't want to risk relying on it alone, so I encourage you all to just remember, file, 
Save Metadata to Files. If you'd like to learn more about Photoshop Elements Organizer, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com slash organize.